Welcome to Enough About You, the game about sharing and caring. Oh, sorry, that's crying. I misread. Three players. You know, you're like those French guys with the, the swords and there's a candy bar and one of them was Tom Selleck and there was a baby. Yeah, I'll think of it later. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's do this. Here's how it works. I'm going to beam a question about you to your device. Answer with the truth. Then you'll get your chance to make up lies about the other players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth, and on your question, you get a reputation bonus for players who know you well enough to get it right. Ready? Well, I am. Check your device and answer that question. quick before you ruin it for everyone first up this player thinks they remember how to blank write your lies now Come on, time's running out. Okay, seek the truth. Let's see how things shook out. Nobody thought of this. Here's the question. The best present this player received as a kid was blank. All right, type in your lies. Time's almost up. All right, find the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Here's a question for you. The worst movie this player paid money to see in theaters was blank. Okay, enter your lies. Hurry up 
often finish before time runs out. All right, pick the truth. All right, who picked what? final round. Everybody submits one truth about themselves and one lie. Whatever comes to mind, dig deep because you get points for any player you fool with your lie. And for spotting other players' truths. Get to it. Gone. If you're still working on that suit, you might want to move on to your life. Serious about that timer. Finish quick. All right, which statement's true? Yes.
Slime Cookie or Fibbage Tour Guide, keep your hands inside the fibbage at all times. Look at that, four players. You know what I call a four-player game? Four play. I just add the word four to Coldplay, my favorite band, and then I take out the word cold. It equals four play. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Let's play. This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. According to legend, the devil himself helped build St. Mary's Church in Lübeck, Germany, because locals tricked him into thinking they were building blank. Now write a lie on your device that the other players might think is true. If you can't come up with something, use the lie for me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Do it now. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. And these are your choices. Pick the one that looks true on your device. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Well, there it is. Of course, it's not a true story. Everyone knows the devil only drinks flavored vodka. Time to pick a category. And the question is, inside the Matterhorn Mountain at Disneyland, employees installed a secret blank. Type in your lies now. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? It truly is the Magic Kingdom. Hey, look, it's Russian Fibbage time. The Russian way to say a guilty mind betrays itself translates as a thief's blank is burning. Enter your lies now. Hurry! 
Hey, hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. And what? Russian criminals must be easy to spot. Now for round two, where the stakes are doubled. Alright, choose a category. Try this one. In 2017, neuropsychologist Dr. Samuel Webb Santel brought up the important question, is blank murder? Type in your lies now. Suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> oh, they took the bait on that one. Here's something you might be interested in. Unfortunately, we don't yeti have an answer. Give me a category. Okay, we don't have all day. Now listen up. If you're in the market for men's briefs, a company called Spartan designs its drawers to protect the wearer from blank. Okay, enter your lies. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Okay, which one is the truth? Okay, let's take a look. I tried a pair, but my penis kept missing important text messages.
today, pick a category. Okay, focus up. Eccentric Beijing resident Zhang Biking decided his apartment building was missing something, so naturally he built a blank on the roof. All right, type in your lies. Use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, find the truth. I love this part.
It's still easier to access than most rooftop bars. This is the final fibbage. One question left for... is the author of the 1982 book, How to Blank Huge Blank. Write your lies now. Finish quick, or just hit the Y for me button. Okay, where's the truth? All right, let's see what you guys picked. <laughs> Step one, put that ship on a diet. I am Cookie, and I'm only 25,000 days away from retirement. 40 players? No, no, that's that's way too many. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four players. That's fine. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's hit it. This is round one, and that means you get 500 for each player you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. Alright, question one. 
In Mary Shelley's 1831 preface to Frankenstein, the author explains the novel was inspired by blank. All right, type in your lies. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, here are your choices. And what did people pick? Would you believe... She'd heard electricity could make frog legs twitch after death. Let's check in with someone who really Welcome to Fibbage, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and after the game, I'd love to talk to you about the benefits of variable annuities. Okay, four players. I was hoping for five, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience members try to spot the truth and choose their own lies to fake out the players. Okay, here we go. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for every one you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. Alright, choose a category. No, please, allow me. Here's the first question. In 2012, two researchers conducted a quantitative investigation of coolness in order to determine if blank was cool. Enter your lies now. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, take a look and find the truth.
All right, let's see what everybody picked. Well, so much for that one. The paper suggests that coolness is different from being popular and likable, which is just what some popular likable researchers would say. Now point your eyes at this thing. It's time to look at This figure from circa 2100 BC depicts a guy who is blank. Okay, enter your lies. Where's the truth? <laughs> All right, who picked what? Well, hats off to you. And it was also... Well, that was interesting. That was a complete miss. Give me a category. Yeah, that was difficult. Let me do it for you. Okay, here's the question. Five students at Manesson Middle School in Pennsylvania ended up learning more than they bargained for after they were accidentally given a word search inspired by blank. Type in your lies now. Or just hit the lie for me button. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> this just makes me so angry. Oh wait, no, there's butt plug. I found it, never mind. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Select the category. All right, here it is. Jemima Packington has a special and unique skill. She claims she can predict the future by using blank. 
Write your lies now. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Alright, find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? Uh, not your finest effort. I can predict the future of me eating asparagus, and it isn't pretty. Give me a category. Let's see what we got. In the late 90s, South African inventor Charles Fourri tried to prevent carjackings by attaching blank to cars. All right, type in your lies. if you can't think of anything. Okay, which one is the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> Don't worry though, the inventor insisted that the flames were the non-lethal kind. Okay, pick a category. Okay, here's your question. In 1904, Mrs. John E. Cook invented the perfection salad. It's mostly just a regular tossed salad, but the twist is that it's served in blank. Enter your lies now. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see how things shook out.
Believe it or not, there's always room for nightmares. It's final fibbage time. Pay attention, because this last one's worth triple points. Have fun. Due to its aging population, blank outsell blank in Japan. Okay, enter your lies. Okay, seek the truth. Who picked what?
Alright, a gang of four. Please tell me you're not another group of hackers. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. Put on your oxygen tank, because we're going to explore cyberspace. <laughs> Hi, I'm Todd. You know, the internet may just be a bunch of ones and zeros, but you're more than just a number to me. Before we begin, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So, in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a job networking site. So you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. ridiculous way you can. Here goes nothing.
looks the most ridiculous here? Place your vote now. Here's what people think. Here's who twisted your words. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. I hope you weren't going to run for political office. Here's the order of who I think is cool from top to bottom. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a uh, check-in site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Is anyone else's heart racing right now? Vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd. Let's see who got the point. Good grief! No. Okay, let's see what that round does.
Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a news site. It's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. Let's do the twist. Let's see what you rascals came up with. Go ahead and vote. I'll give you a sticker afterwards. Let's see who got the votes. You got played, son. <laughs> Let's check out the scoreboard, shall we? And our last stop of the game will be at a uh, photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. It's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time.
Okay, let's see how you've grown as writers. Voting time. Let's see how everybody voted. Wowza. comes down to this. And here's where the winners go. Let's start things off at a e-commerce site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. It's the moment of truth. Vote for the comment you think looks the worst in this context. I mean, I know who I'd vote for, but it's up to you. Okay, 
here are the verdicts. This is who burned you. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. You look like a fool. Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Great. Now let's go to a video site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. Okay, here's what you're working with. Do your worst. You'd think I'd learned my lesson, but yet, here we are again. As P. Diddy would say, vote or die. And here are the results. Look at this half-wit. <laughs> Let's see what that round did to things. Let's keep this party train moving. We go to a... Web forum.
Another prompt is headed your way. Now get to it. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Okay, you knuckleheads, here we go. Let's get those boats in. Let's see how everybody voted. Scoreboard time. Let's end things at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so anything can happen. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do. The last round, so don't hold anything back.
gulp. It all comes down to this. Okay, time to vote. Let's see who got the points. Well, that's something you can't unsee. Whoa, buddy, it all comes down to this. Well done. This has to be one of your all time highlights.
Welcome to Doodle Valley. We might seem like a sleepy town, but we've got our share of excitement. The hair salon is piercing ears now. Thank you all for volunteering or being unwillingly enlisted to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, we're still looking for audience members to join in and cast their votes. The mayor wants to turn all of the boring blank walls in the town into wholesome community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Amanda. Well, that's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can see, this masterpiece has already started. The local preschool was going to paint something here, but this is as far as they got before they declared it an exercise in futility. They're very advanced. You gotta follow through, kids. We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing, and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, artist. Ready, set, ready, go. While our artists work, the rest of you can express your feelings about each drawing with the buttons on your device. <laughs> I like the vegetable one. Time's running out. Better hurry. I may not know art, but I know what I like, and I like both of these. Sadly, only one can win. Hey, quit fooling around and vote! Okay, count them up! Wonderful. Now you two get to add something. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. Go. It's voting time. Moment of truth. We've got our results. Not so fast, Delilah. Each match, I'll choose a different emoticon, and I'll give out a bonus to the drawing that earned the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most hoops. The people have spoken. Okay, let's see what you two can do. Go. Here we go. This time the bonus goes to the most confusing drawing, which to me is all of them. Next up, go! Thank <laughs> you. 
make up those votes. Stop everything. I think this piece is finished. Now it just needs a title. Use your devices to suggest one. Which one is it going to be? Let's vote! Okay! Time for the big reveal! Well, that's something you can't unsee. Well, you look at that! Community spirit to a new part of town. I'm thinking here. I've got a good feeling about this one. Go. Up quick! Vote away! I love this part! Next on deck, go! That shook out. Up next, go. Time to vote! Let's count those votes. Next up. Go! <laughs> away!
Here we go! I'm not exactly sure what to call this, but it does need a title. Pick your favorite and vote. Buckle up, here comes the final piece. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Now that's art! What's next on the agenda, sir? Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Dr. Zydeco. That's not... You know what? Never mind. What is it? You all have done so well, I want to commission you to do a portrait to hang in the town hall. Everybody brace yourselves, because you're all drawing at once this time. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. Let me just open up the old Doodle Valley phone book here and... There you go, a fine subject for our portrait. Um... Thank <laughs> you.